Welcome to this Windows channel and um, this is a little um, video to answer a question uh, that I got um, a few times and uh, today I got that question again following the uh, quick look at the VLC media player and the question is um, well there is of course a uh, store app for the VLC media player so of course if we go here and we type VLC in the Microsoft Store, you'll notice that there is absolutely a VLC app. The problem with the VLC app of the Microsoft Store is that it's incomplete. It requires much more, much more to really be a good app. And they actually say it, and you're wondering why the hell do you really, um, you know, put an app in the store if it's incomplete? So. I rather go to the VLC website and download the desktop app, which is much more complete. Another example of this is the Twitter app. I'm a little fed up with the Twitter app. I've been using the app and I did like the Twitter app for, um, you know, the for Windows uh, 10. Problem is, it doesn't support the new 280 characters it stops at 140 and it's not been updated since so it's kind of annoying because now you're stuck with the old 100, 140 characters of twitter instead of 280 which makes me kind of think that you know um apart from the fact that i do like from time to time going to the store and see what apps are there and games and so on i am less and less inclined to actually use an app that's in here to basically um, do things you know VLC as the desktop app it's free um, I mean Twitter can be accessed from any web browser and it works well and that is I think what shows is the major issue also about the Microsoft Store in Windows 10 the lack of you know good things that that are very useful uh, not that there aren't, there's a lot of apps and there's more and more every day, but there's no real useful apps, I would say, that either are still there or still supported. So uh, that's kind of my answer to the question of why I kind of don't um, necessarily, you know, if, if the app is in the store and it works well and it does everything, I have no problem with using it. But more and more, we seem to see that kind of, you know, the desktop apps are better or going on the web to do things are better and I think this is also the reason why we see that Microsoft will be moving to the uh, progressive web apps which have a certain uh, amount of um, you know compatibility between browsers between platforms and that is going to be much more interesting I think looking to the future if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching